This is the Canyon Neuron On, completely new compared to the old Neuron On. It's more actually closer in uh, design, shall we say, to the Spectral On. It's got shorter travel, but the front triangle has the same geometry as the Spectral On. Canyon frame, carbon front triangle, carbon rear triangle. It's got 150 mil travel on the front, 140 on the back. It's essentially, it is a trail bike. It's not been designed to go harder than that particularly, but it is a lot of fun. A do-it-all e-mountain bike for what I would call the mass market. With this in mind, Canyon have obviously tried to approach this project with a little bit of a broader uh, mentality here. So we have a 29 on the front, a 29 on the back. We have a Bosch motor, a 750 watt hour battery, Battery. However, a 620 watt hour battery is also available. The motor is the Performance CX Generation 4 from Bosch. It's got 85 newton meters of torque, 250 watts of power. The battery is a Bosch power tube battery integrated into the down tube. It has 750 watts. This bike also comes with the mini remote and the integrated top tube display. It's also possible to pair this bike with an app so you can see all your detailed data on the app, which at this price range, you have a lot of popularity with handlebar mounted phone holders or GPS devices and things like that. There's many different adaptations you can do to this bike. Okay, let's look at the parts on the bike. We've got DT Swiss wheels, which are mounted with a Big Betty on the front from Schwalb and a Nobby Nick on the rear. These are pretty reasonable tires for a good all-rounder. If you ride aggressively, you might want to upgrade the rear tire. Luckily, we've got a fairly easygoing package here on the wheel set. We've got a Fox 34 Performance Elite on the front and we've got a Fox Performance Elite on the back. This is quite a simple suspension setup. We have the open and closed uh, option for those people who like that, but honestly, you don't need to ride it. You actually maintain better grip if you leave your suspension open. Canyon's integrated cabling, where the cables pass through the headset. We've also got a very clean looking bar with Shimano brakes. We've got the Dior XT brakes on here, which are mounted to 180 mil discs. Lastly, we've got the telescopic seat post, which is essential if you're doing dynamic trail riding. This bike is fairly light. It comes in at about 22 and a half kilos, uh, which is actually quite competitive and makes a difference when it comes to riding. So overall, this whole package comes in at about 5,400 euros and about the same in dollars. It's available globally, and there are three versions in the range. This is, I think, the mid-range version, and there's also a top-end version. Overall, what you've got here is an excellent price uh, for componentry package. Canyon have told me they were really pushing here for good value when it comes to specking this bike. The interesting thing is the fact that it's got a carbon frame and that means that it's an excellent base as time goes on if you wish to upgrade parts over time. Okay, so what's it like riding this bike? Well, as you can see, today we did a lot of fun riding. We did some different muddy descents. We did some dry descents. We did some rough stuff. We did some smooth stuff. Overall, this bike has a very wide range of use. This is definitely not an extreme enduro bike. It is a trail bike and also even easier riding than that. If you just want to ride around it casually on gravel roads, you actually have a very comfortable, great time on it. And at the same time, if you want to take it on a few reasonably fun trails, you'll also have a good time. The range of this thing, well, I found riding around, we did today about 50 kilometers or 30 miles and we used about half the battery. So riding off-road, uphill, this thing grips like anything. I love it. Straight up the trail, really fast, really rolls smoothly. Uh, it's a fun bike, it's short travel, but it's very accessible to all people. The body position on the bike feels really easy, comfortable, and you're always in this ready position for fun. I'm actually surprised how good it is considering travel specifications. I mean, it's probably one of the most fun short travel e-bikes I've tried actually. The Bosch motor is really smooth. Great wheel package, low rolling resistance, absolute fun 
uphill. Where this bike really shines though are the up and down trails, the flow trails, the exploratory trails, the flat trails, the fun through the woods. This thing is amazing. You can pop it off anything, it just wants to play. I found myself riding and looking for trouble, shall we call it, or little jumps, little berms, anything that would give me an exciting feeling on, the bo on board. This was the bike which for me, really opened my eyes to the trail market and this short travel segment of e-mountain biking. I would say this is one of the most exciting bikes for this price range and this sort of level within this category of short travel e-mountain bikes. It's a lot of fun on board. You really feel that bike. It's a lively ride. When we come to descending, I would say that this bike for descending is great. You can do some really good stuff. If you're a very good rider, you'll really feel like you want to whip it around and do little pop jumps and things like that. But if you're a medium star rider, I would keep it conservative. It's not an extreme enduro. If you take this on an enduro trail, you will quite quickly be underbiked and you will struggle to keep up with people who are on enduro bikes. Also, the tire and wheel package is meant more for covering fast, flowy trails, long distance with a low rolling resistance. They're not built for extreme stress on rocky descents. This brings me to the conclusion of this bike. For me, this bike is something that I would definitely buy. I absolutely had an amazing time. Beginner rider, you're definitely going to have fun. It's definitely going to open your eyes up to the world of mountain biking and what you can do, especially e-mountain biking. It's going to have an excellent overall experience for you. One of the things I was saying to the Canyon designers after riding it was, for me, this bike felt like a fun bike and it was almost like my bike so and that is very interesting it's very capable it satisfies me and it satisfies the beginner entry-level rider that is a difficult thing to achieve especially at this price point with this number of features and this kind of sleek look and design and one of the things that I really like is that finally quality design has come down to the entry-level market thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next bike test